Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today we're going to be talking about that absolutely insane piece of legislation out of the state of California known as SB 1160. That is the bill that would force annual registration of all firearms across the state of California. There is some major breaking news that you guys are going to want to hear, so stay tuned. Hey, real quick, if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, I know that every channel asks you to do this, but consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it only takes a second, but it really does help us spread our message and it's very effective. Also, hit that little alarm bell that'll let you know when new videos come out and you can stay on top of what's happening with your rights. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here with SB 1160 because again, this is a very big one. This creates annual firearms registration in the state of California. This is by outgoing Senator Anthony Portentino. It's like his last little unconstitutional gift to the state of California. Now, since we've been watching this very closely and seeing all the little movements that happen, last week I made another video about it where we talked about how it got pushed back from committee. Basically, they noticed that there's a whole bunch of problems with this bill. Not just problems with the bill itself, but problems with implementation and getting people caught up in it. I mean, there was a lot wrong with this bill. So it got pushed out of committee. We weren't sure if it was going to have some amendments made to it and then brought back to life or not. We didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but we have our answer today. Okay, so some of you may have heard of the whole gut and amend procedure that they have in the state of California. That's where a bill gets introduced as one thing. So it might be a bill about farming, right? It gets introduced, it goes through all the steps and procedures, and then right before it gets voted on, they take all of that text out of the bill. So they gut the bill and then they replace the text with something else. And it's been used against us multiple times. So they replace the text of the bill. The bill is completely different than the way it was when it was originally introduced. And then it, it moves on through the voting process, right? That is what we have here. The original SB 1160, the text is completely gone. This bill is not about annual firearms registration anymore. It was so bad. This bill was so bad and so unconstitutional and had so many issues that Portentino was forced to make it something else. So now the bill that was about, uh, you know, annual registration is now about extended penalties for open carry. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this bill. So you can see on the bottom right there, uh, the red text that has the strikes through it, that is the original bill text. So the original bill text is completely gone. The blue text at the top right there, that is the new text. Same exact bill, but all of the text has been replaced. And I can show you just by reading, you know, one or two lines, the stark difference between the two. So we take a look at the original text. It says, this bill would require every firearm in the state, except those specifically exempted, to be annually registered with the department. So that's the original text. Now let's take a look at the new text here in blue, which again is completely different from the original. Now that first paragraph, it just talks about increased penalties and punishments for open carry. So we already know that there is a lawsuit that's currently making its way through to overturn the open carry ban in the state of California. And actually looks like it has a pretty good chance of actually succeeding. So uh, that is already something that works against even this new bill. And then we work down to the second line, which says this bill would extend that increased punishment to also apply if the person with immediate possession of the handgun and an unexpended ammunition capable of being discharged uh, is not listed uh, with the Department of Justice and the registered owner of that firearm as specified by increasing the punishment and the crime, this bill would impose a state mandated local program, etc. So basically what they're saying is now if you are caught open carrying and you're not the registered owner of that, then there's going to be increased penalties. Again, di totally different from uh, registering everything every single year in the state of California. So SB 1160 in the way that we once knew it is clearly done. And there's another upside to this as well. Even though this bill is still not a good bill and it's still a bill that we need to pay attention to, uh, SB 1160 is one of those bills where if it actually made its way through and got passed, maybe even got signed, 
that is one of those bills that I guarantee you other states were watching very closely because if they were able to implement something like that in the state of California, you would have seen Illinois, you would have seen New York, you would have seen all of these different states that love passing laws that are, you know, just like California's, you would have seen them adopt something like that fairly soon. Uh, it's just one of those things where California simply leads the way in this specific area and other states tend to follow. So keeping stuff like this uh, off the table completely, right? Just stopping it from going forward altogether is a, a big victory for the entire country. So I wanted to share that midweek good news with you. It kind of helps lift your spirits and maybe get you through the rest of the week. Uh, good news is always appreciated, right? So anyway, wanted to share that with you and I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. You guys have a great day.